the Thoughty OT podcast. My other self is an investment banker. Wow. She, uh, <laughs> like a real one that worked on Wall Street, oh my like God. a top notch one. Wow. Uh, she traded equities and yeah. uh, she was in love with her job. She is in love with her job. She, uh, like so passionate that everyone knew her as the like the very star mm. of uh of the the industry um she had awards and everything like uh, she featured on the tv so like to that point uh she had a family and she had uh, certain friends hobbies and everything she never listened to music uh she never cared about uh lots of things like mm -hmm. um that that i love uh and the funniest thing of all is that how she hated every like not not hated but she was like she was very very uh mm, scornful to all the creative people <laughs> uh yeah she sounds, sounds to be sort of more <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's a very sort of logical kind of pragmatic thought, thought based, yeah, ex sort yeah. of experience being a, like an investment banker. Um, whereas what what you furthest you, love you can get from a creative person. So, and yeah. I I know <laughs> that she always had those jokes about creative people because she mm -hmm. knew. Uh, there inside her head lives another one that she doesn't want to let out. Sure. Uh, and there we are when, when, when we switched, it completely turned around because I don't understand a thing about finance. I literally don't. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't care about it. Mm -hmm. I, uh, there is, in my life, like ever since I got these headphones, I'm just like in headphones all the time. Yeah. Uh, and I just can't, I, I can't even imagine myself leaving the house without music on. And so, um, from day one, I actually wrote my first song, uh, on, on the, okay, second day of, uh, my, um, taking over control. And ever since, uh, I, I installed my Ableton, the um, uh, audio workstation where um, I create music mm -hmm. on day three of my taking over. And ever since I never closed it again, I wrote around, I don't know, at least 60 or 70 tracks since then in, in the three years. And mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't, I didn't even know how to do that. I just started learning and I couldn't stop. And everyone was looking at me like, what's going on with her? She is uh, skipping her job, yeah. uh, not working, not not caring about um, um, all the people she kind of is supposed to care about. Like all her friends were not my friends. I couldn't, I, I had nothing to talk to them about. I even tried where, where, uh, I, I had to meet some of them uh, because, you know, trying to mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. go on. And I couldn't find a thing I could talk to them about because everything I cared about, they didn't understand. Or they were talking about things that I couldn't care less about. Uh, so I was did they, finding Did they it believe you? Did they, did they like sort of at least sort of acknowledge that that you were, you were different uh they could feel that there was something different about me mm -hmm. they couldn't understand what was going on sure and uh i can say that i didn't disclose uh my diagnosis uh diagnosis with everyone it's understandable. Uh, but but with the people that i knew could understand it clicked they yeah. It helped them understand, and it was like for, for some it was an eye opener, like oh that that's what was going on. Um, but well, yeah, I mean, to talk, talking to you has definitely been an eye opener for me. I think it's 
it's it, it's hard, isn't it? Because you are sort of battling with people's ideas of what what it is, and sort of it's 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 very very different to a lot of other things. Like s- some people might be able to identify a bit with um, generalized anxiety disorder. You know, sometimes they feel a bit panicked and stuff like that, and then. Same with depression. Sometimes people feel really apathetic and you know, like that. But um, you know, things like autism, things like ADHD, things like DID, the the things that not that people don't really sort of understand or know about. And you know, even even for me, it was I think when when we first started talking, I wasn't I wasn't too like I didn't know enough about it, and I wasn't. Like, um, if, if I'm honest, I, I didn't really know how to sort of, um, understand it and, and react. And I, I find it very hard to, um, identify things when I don't understand things. Um, I have to be honest, I think that's for the, for the majority of people, but, um, it's, it's definitely something that like talk, talking to you, it's been um much easier to sort of understand and, and wrap my head around it. Um but I am coming from a place of being different to other people. So I sort mm-hmm. of get that sort of experience of, you know, perhaps, you know, life life life's not as simple and easy to understand as um everyone would like it to be or everyone thinks it is. Um it's it's actually a lot more sort of complex, and there can be a lot of different people with different experiences of life. Um, so so I kind of come from that a little bit, which I think helps. <laughs> but I I have no I have just no idea how 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 you, you you sort of navigated all of that, especially sort of being thrown into the deep end with a you know very intense job, um, a family. Uh, a social network like it must it must feel just completely overwhelming <laughs> like I, I wouldn't know where yeah. to start like if that was to, to happen to me like it was well it was uh clear to people in my like in her work uh that um something was going on because my performance or her performance, my performance. Uh, Did you go to the job? Did you go at all? Yeah, that? no, of course. It was a high <laughs> paid job. I could do nothing uh, with my music, yet I couldn't understand what's going on. The first year, the first year was very challenging. It was confusing as could be. Uh, and uh, I was literally given, like, this is your life, live it. And I'm like, this is not my life. Hang on, it's just something is wrong. Uh, and I was figuring it out along the way. Uh, I was realizing that I didn't want to go home because mm-hmm. I was feeling that I am, I'm a stranger there in my mm-hmm. own home. Mm-hmm. For, for weeks or even months, I was trying to find all excuses I could not to go back home in the evenings and just to Mm -hmm. go to sleep. Uh, I didn't care about my job. So like her job, I would just take my laptop with literally take my laptop to the trading floor, open it up. And with those headphones on, I would be writing music. Yes. I'm not joking. It was, it was crazy. And so Obviously, everyone started understanding that something is wrong, uh, but everyone had their own explanation. And again, to some people, I would never explain anything because they would never understand. Yeah, they just. Uh, but some some people, some, you know, that are just kind of the too close-minded to sort of yeah, let in any just other say, possibilities. Yeah, they just mental. That's it. Okay, yeah. well, <laughs> not news either. Uh, but um, uh, the uh. uh to some people, it it explained everything and it helped them understand uh, mm-hmm. 
basically was to come just as well because I started well after I had my diagnosis I realized that I don't have to live someone else's life anymore mm -hmm. uh, and I started uh, slowly unraveling everything to make sure that I don't burn all the bridges but uh, that I'm allowed to do what I want to do because she had a chance to live her life. Sure. I yeah. never had it. And so this is my time. Of, I, I do believe that that trigger that, that happened uh, in 2020, it was not, uh, it was there for a reason. It was probably just my chance to, um, to do what I am meant to do. And so, um, yeah, I, I just started unraveling, uh, her life to build my own one and uh my diagnosis helped explain to people that this is the reason this is why because obviously there were quite a lot of things that um like there were people who got hurt in the yeah. process uh because they were hoping that they lived with one person yeah. and then yeah. it turned to be another one 